So, hello everybody. This is a little experiment to do on water. So what we have here is an upside down egg cup, a ruler, and a teaspoon and some water. So i am just set them all up here. And we're outside in the garden. Because uh, it's not raining, it's a nice evening. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a teaspoon to fill up oops to fill up this little thing now i've got the egg cup upside down because i want it to be i want to use a small diameter uh holding thing now what i'm doing is trying to very carefully get the water as high as possible in this egg cup thing and a couple of times it's, it's really at the limit it's think that's going to be the limit. Might get one more drop. A couple of times it's already been spilling out. Oh, there it goes again. Maybe we can get a couple more drops in. I always think I can get one more in and then it all spills. But I think probably that's the limit. Now, the idea is what we want to do is measure the height of the water above the edge. Now, it's quite tricky to do that. I'm just going to put down the spoon so I can hold the camera a bit better. Right, can you see that? There is. There. Maybe if I move it like that you can see it a little bit better. There is there a surface of water. And we've got a ruler there as well. And let's just try and take a still picture there. Um, the idea is that if we can get this level and look sideways, we can, for the camera picture, measure the height of the water by comparing it with uh, how big the um, ruler is. Now, the next stage is we've got some washing up liquid here. So what I'm just going to do is pour a little bit on the tray. So I've got everything on a tray just to make it all nicely contained. And I've got a bit of a sort of wooden toothpick type thing here. And what I'm going to do is just touch the surface of the water. We don't need much. That's probably a bit much. That's heavy. Let's just put... Uh, we'll maybe get a bit more. What we'll do is put a bit of detergent on and I'll watch what happens to the water. Okay, now the moment that I touch that, I'm just going to add a little bit more. But the moment I touch that, did you see there was a whole lot of water that ran out? And that's because the detergent modifies the surface tension. And um, it reduces it. So the way that you can pile water up above um, the level of the edge of the container is because there's surface tension which holds the water in, it holds it together. But when we add a little tiny bit of detergent, immediately the, uh, the bonds of the water molecules on the surface are disrupted and the uh, surface tension is reduced. I'm going to take another still picture there. And um, now the idea is, again, if we can sort of try and li line it up as level as possible, and we've got the um, ruler in the picture, we can then make another measurement to see how high the water is uh, now. And by comparing those two heights, we can actually measure the surface tension of the water with the detergent on the basis that uh, we use a literature value for the surface tension of water on its own. Okay, so... Now, of course, you only need a tiny drop of detergent to, to make that uh, happen. And um, so you've got to be really careful and make sure for the next experiment that you clean the cup carefully and get rid of all the detergent. Just use lots of uh, water to get rid of that. Oh, and there's the wind now blowing that over.